Leading effective change in an agriculture commodity organization is never easy. Change is hard and often fraught with challenges. However, effective change can and does happen when four basic requirements are met. First, meaningful change requires a board and senior leadership team to work together to develop a viable organizational strategy and a robust communications and change management plan to facilitate the process. This leadership partnership is at work at the American Veterinary Medical Association where we see firsthand the value transparent and open communications can have on facilitating effective change. Second, it requires the allocation and application of resources to execute the strategy via a right-sized operating plan. The Illinois Farm Business and Farm Management Association is a great example of this dynamic as they work to implement their new vision for the future. Third, it requires an information system capable of providing timely information enabling a leadership team to evaluate their strategic performance, make timely decisions, and implement mid-course corrections. The Illinois Soybean Association is a leading example of a U.S. commodity organization who is meeting this fundamental requirement. Fourth, it requires board and staff leaders understanding their respective roles and responsibilities in the strategy development, implementation management, and change management processes. Early on, it is largely the board's responsibility to launch the process, then understand their environment, and finally determine the longer-term direction of the organization. Staff's role is to support the strategic planning process and provide thoughtful input into and oversight of the ongoing strategy management process. Over time, the leadership role shifts from the board to the staff when building a three-year operating plan and in executing the operating plan. Finally, it becomes a shared responsibility when it's time to evaluate the plan's actual performance. In summary, effective change occurs when a viable strategy and change management plan are in place. Resources are rationally allocated to the highest level priorities. Information to manage the strategic plan is available on a timely basis and the board and staff understand their respective roles and responsibilities. Both the Illinois and Iowa Soybean Associations are strong examples of commodity organizations who are meeting each of these requirements. Thank you.